I went live on YouTube and asked chat to give me suggestions of things to put on the wheel of death. We did many different things. We saved a few planets, destroyed a few planets, and made things not planets anymore. Here's how that went. 10 times bigger. Turn into star. Terraform it. Turn into rocky planet. Turn into black hole. Make all the moons collide. Feed it 10 yummy earths. Oh boy. Okay, there we go. That's a pretty good wheel we have. So now we're going to open universe sandbox. Let's go to Jupiter. Now we're going to spin the wheel and whatever the wheel lands on, that's what we're doing to Jupiter. And what's our first thing? Gigantic rings. That is amazing. We're going to go and add gigantic rings to Jupiter now. There we go. Okay, that's some pretty big rings on there. It's already making it lag a tiny bit. That is our first suggestion of Jupiter. I wonder if these rings are going to hit any of these inner moons. I don't know. Maybe. Do the wheel again. Oh boy. All moons collide. Okay. Uh, how are we going to do this one? So we need all of its moons to collide somehow. We're just going to go and type for velocity or speed on all the planets. While it's paused, we're going to type zero for all of them. So they're not moving and then we'll just see what happens. I'm not going to do every single moon because that would take too long, but we'll do a few of these. So we're going to play time. Oh, OK. I was focused on Callisto, but I think some of them ran into Jupiter. Yes. So Jupiter's now got a little collision there. So that didn't do too much. I mean, Jupiter has a lot more moons, but those were like the four biggest ones. So if those didn't have any effect, these smaller ones wouldn't really do anything. Back to the wheel. Uh oh. <laughs> Size of Taunt 618. Okay. How big is Taunt 618? 320,000 light years. Okay. Radius and then go to light years. 160,000. Okay. I think I have to play time for it to take effect. That's 160 and the lag is unreal. 160,000. There we go. Okay. Now Jupiter is the size of Taunt 618, but I'm sure as soon as we play time, it will die. Oh, giant black hole. That's what that's what happened. Yes. OK, so now it just basically turned into Taunt 618. What's its mass? Oh, more than. Oh, oh, wait, it grew way bigger than it even is supposed to be. Look at the let's compare it to the Milky Way. OK, here's the Milky Way. You can't you can't even. OK, it went bigger than it was supposed to somehow. So that I guess is Jupiter. So now we got to do another object. So we can start with a few like terraform it. 100 times bigger. Make it have big rings. Make it a planet. That's a good one. Hit it with the Death Star laser. Okay, we'll do our first spin now. So whatever happens on this wheel, this is what we're doing to Deimos. Mars's moon. Terraform it. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so to terraform it, I already know it's going to need to be a little bigger. And now if we add a tiny bit of hydrogen, we can add some water onto it and the water will actually stay. Perfect. Look at that. It is best to just put the Earth's atmosphere on it, even if it's like way too thick. And then you can adjust the colors on here, kind of like that. And then you can add clouds too. Check that out. Let's see what our life likelihood is right now. 8.6%. I bet we can make it a little better. If temperature, we're gonna make like 14 Celsius. Check that out, 10%. Okay, that's terraformed enough, I think, for Deimos. And we'll see what we do to Deimos now. Same mass as Earth. Oh, this might actually help a lot with its habitability, but this is gonna make it so Mars is actually orbiting Deimos instead of Deimos orbiting Mars. We'll go one Earth's mass. And then we got to make sure Mars is in orbit so we don't have it crash into it. Now we have basically a planet and its moon, but the planet is Deimos. Let's see how it's habitable now. 3.8. How did it go down? Water. Maybe there is too much water. Oh, yeah. Definitely too much water. Oh, yeah. Look, now it's 78.3%. Okay, so now it's like super habitable. Deimos is. That's actually funny because most of these are like destroy Deimos. See what happens now. Give it rings. Okay, we're just making like, oh, oh, wait, wait, crash into Mars. Oh, no. So what we're going to do is actually just zero the velocity on Mars and it'll fall right into it. At least it should. Oh, yeah, it definitely will. Here it comes and collision. OK, now we'll speed up time and see if Deimos survives this. And it looks like it does. How's its life like? 45%, but I think it'll go up slowly over time. Yeah, we're going 48. I think it might settle a little lower than it was. How's our orbit? Okay, it's still in orbit of the sun, which is good. Oh, it might go all the way back up to how it was. Yeah, about 75% chance of life. Oh, this might be the end. Oh, no. Collide with Neptune. That is not going to be good. Okay, here we go. Poor Deimos. Is this Universe Sandbox? Yes, it is. So I think this will be the end of our Deimos. Going into Neptune, never to be seen again. And there it goes. 
I saw collide with Titan, so we're gonna collide Titan with Titan. Maybe. Give it a moon. A thousand times smaller. A hundred times atmosphere. A hundred times thicker atmosphere. Spin 50 times faster. Give it rings. That's good. Add ice. Okay, there we go. There's our wheel for Titan. And then Titan is gonna be right here. So let's spin the wheel. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, more water. It was almost light on fire. I'm gonna turn off the atmosphere. It's still like there, but I just made it so we can't see it. Yes, something like that. I mean, you can't really tell that we did anything. I wonder if there's like a chance of life now. Oh, we got 11.8% chance of life. Easy terraform right there, because it already has an atmosphere. Not light speed cow, a thousand times bigger. Oh boy, this might not be good. 0.4 times the mass of Earth. 400 Earths would be a thousand times bigger. And you can see it completely devours the entire, like Saturn's gone. And oh, it turned into a star and then immediately supernova Oh wait, black hole. It turned into a black hole at the center. So it supernova then turned into a black hole. That was that was actually a lot more than I thought would happen. I thought maybe it would just turn into a star. But look, the supernova was strong enough that even Earth, like all these planets over here are being affected, burned up by it. Owl bombardment, I like that one. Make wasp 12B orbit it, please. Collide with the sun, a thousand times smaller. Collide with Betelgeuse. Make it very big with low mass, so low density. Giant pigeon, duh. A thousand times bigger then it are it's already the biggest star okay we got a pretty good list here i guess we'll we'll do our first spin uh oh <laughs> okay we're gonna try to collide stevenson 2 and 8 with andromeda okay andromeda right here and then we need stevenson 2 and 8. so even if we put it in the andromeda galaxy nothing's really gonna happen so now we just make stevenson 2 and 8 way bigger right just like that oh my gosh it's lagging and that's a black hole okay <laughs> We can't kill it yet. We still have a lot more to do with it. Ooh, 99.9% .9 water. I'm actually interested to see if anything will actually change with it. It's 100% hydrogen right now. So we're gonna pause it and then set it to 99% water. Okay, now it's 99.9% .9 water. So let's play. And oh my gosh, nothing happens. It just turns the water into plasma. Watermelon planet. Watermelon, we'll put it, we'll put it here. And then we need this watermelon to be absolutely massive. Okay, it's only 10 kilos. We need it like at least 10 Jupiter's mass, right? Yes. Can you even see, like if you zoom out, look how small that watermelon is still compared to Stevens and 20. Even though it's 10 Jupiters in mass, what's its radius? Six Jupiters. Low density, ooh, okay, we'll try that. So this will make it bigger, but the mass is gonna stay the same. I don't wanna destroy it yet, but let's see if we can get it out to the orbit of the watermelon. Cause that's pretty far out. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, no, we killed it, but not quite make it die yet. Okay, like that. So now it's more orange. Rings? We can give it rings. Can we give it Saturn style rings? Will that even work? Oh. Oh, they flew out. <gasps> I wonder if the density is not even enough to hold rings onto it. Let's try this one. Oh, that one's working. Check it out. A lot of the ring particles are almost burning up, though. Look at them. Oh, they're like vibrating. Oh, a thousand times smaller. Okay, turn the radius down. It's okay. 0.045 AU. I'm pretty sure. So, oh, oh, oh. Oh no, we turned it to a particle. It's not even a star anymore. There's no way. I think I made it too small. Oh, it just shrunk. Like it was just like, oh no, we're gonna make you one kilogram. Okay, we're gonna go the minimum it has to be for it to be a star. I think it's like 20 Jupiters. Okay, well this particle now has the mass of 20 Jupiters somehow. And it's only, what? It's only four, 50 centimeters? Okay, density. Are you kidding me? It's a cloud. Yeah, I definitely think we broke the Stevenson 2 and 8. Okay, we'll go to the next object now. Ring made of cows, I like that. A thousand times more dense. Thickest possible atmosphere. Negative mass. J1407B rings. Perfect, okay, we got a very big list. This might be the biggest one we have so far. Whatever it lands on is what we're doing to Earth. New continents? Yes. So we gotta start by erasing all of the continents, right? So we gotta remove continents that currently exist. We'll make our radius a little bigger. 
Maybe we can do this faster. Cover everything. Maybe. Okay, it looks like we kind of already have some new continents. I definitely want a smiley face chain of islands. People are going to live on each one of these islands. Different tribes. Maybe a little bit connected. So now we can actually have like plants on our areas. Okay, those are my new continents. I hope you like them. I think I accidentally made these like super tall. Oh, okay. So this is what it's actually going to look like. I think that's beautiful. Uh oh. Oh, 100 times hotter. Okay. I thought we we're going to have to throw 100 moons at it. And okay, it's average temperature right now is seven. So we just go 700. Ah, uh, it's molten. I think that just killed all of our plants, but it's going to cool down eventually. Kind of temporary. Let's see if the plants grow back after a couple years. I think they will. Oh yeah, that like did nothing. Oh, we still have even city lights on the back. Okay. Negative mass. Oh, oh, okay. This might be very bad for earth. Mass, negative one earth. Okay. So it might not have seemed like anything changed, but if it works the way I think it will, it should fly out of the solar system. Maybe, maybe not. Interesting. I don't know why it's still in orbit, actually. I think we broke it. The skull emoji is perfect. I went to space, Earth repelled me. Turn into a gas giant. Oh, we're gonna lose our beautiful continents we made. That's okay. We'll do the absolute minimum it has to be for a gas giant. Uh, about right there. Oh, oh, 2%. All it has to be is 2% hydrogen and it has the gas giant texture. Ring of cows, here we go. Okay, so there's not like a preset for it, so we kind of just have to do it ourselves. But we'll go like this. Trust the process. They're so small that I don't think they'll interact with each other. Okay, we got to do them all around, but oh no. <laughs> and there we go. Ring of cow. Oh, oh, what? None of them stayed? Are you kidding me? That was a waste of time. Okay, wait. Does one stay? Why don't they orbit it? Do we need more mass? What's our mass on it? The negative mass. It's working. Okay, so it does work. I guess because we can't orbit anything. It just gets pushed away. I forgot about that. Okay, the negative mass works. Uh, now we have whatever this is. Tons of spherical cows in the solar system. One millimeter. Okay, so the question is, do we crush it or do we just make it smaller? Because if we crush it, it's going to turn into a black hole. But if we just make it... The mass is negative though. Oh, as soon as you change anything, it goes back to positive mass. So I guess it's the game's not really programmed to maintain negative mass, it looks like. So we want the radius to be one... Oh, it turned back into a rocky planet. One millimeter. Our smiley face is still there. Uh, now it's just an asteroid. I'm zooming in right now. There we go. Finally. Oh, oh, look, it still has city lights on it. But if you get too close, it just disappears for some reason. So Earth is still here. It is one millimeter big. It's like that big. Do another spin. Giant pigeon. Oh, boy. The funny thing is that a regular pigeon is going to be bigger than Earth right now. Look at a size. This is the size of a normal pigeon. Oh, we're going to just eat Earth with that. Wait, how small is Earth? I didn't think we made it. It's like microscopic compared to the pigeon. This pigeon has not been made bigger at all. I think we need to make Earth a tiny bit bigger just so we can do more stuff with it. Okay, we're bringing back a little bit of of mass on Earth here just so we can actually do some stuff with it. Pigeon, giant pigeon launch into Earth. So now we actually should make the pigeon bigger. It has the light map like you can see Asia in Europe right here. Oh my goodness. Chunks of pigeon go everywhere and Earth seems to survive mostly. I'm surprised the Earth hasn't been completely obliterated yet. 1,000 pigeons. Okay, okay, we're gonna have to do really big pigeons for this to have any effect. Check that out. Oh, oh no. Oh wait, that destroyed the Earth, are you kidding me? After all of that, two pigeons is all it took to destroy the Earth. No way, that is insane. The wheel will probably make a return in a future video. Also, get this sticker and get more stuff on spaceshipyt.com. Thank you guys for coming. See you in the next stream, see you tomorrow, goodbye.